Okay, right, I'm starting to get the liners cut out. These, all, all these bags have liners. These ones are waiting to get matched. I got a bunch of material here that I'm going through to try to, you know, see if any of that matches. And then if I don't have it all, I will dig through the rest of this that I got over here. Try to find matching prints and um, hopefully we won't have to buy any liner materials, but we will wait and see. <laughs> Alright, so I just showed you the bags. I got some meal today. I'm going to show you real fast and then I got to go get ready to start cooking. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try a new recipe tonight. Jesse's making noise. Um, what is it called now? It's called Asian jalapeno something chicken. <laughs> um, our our local Chinese place that we go to, I get uh, I get a pepper chicken there that me and Devin both love. But um, so I wanted to see if this tasted similar to it. I found it on Pinterest, and if I like it, I will uh, definitely share it with you guys. And I might share some of the process of cooking it. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. But I did get some mail today, so I wanted to show it to you guys. All right, so my cards I got today. One of them, I don't know where this one's from because she didn't put a return address. Um, so it's from somewhere. It looks like the, the postal stamp, it got posted in Colorado. Colorado. I can't even say that. So uh, she's from around there, I guess. Um, but it's really pretty. And it's just at my address, so I can show you. Got a cardinal. And I think that's a chickadee. Is that a chickadee? And then on the back, there's a cardinal sticker. I love cardinals. And the card is really pretty. I might frame this card. <laughs> so it's got a cardinal. I think that's a chickadee. Uh, really snowed on robin. I can't remember what these little yellow birds are called. And uh, blue jay. Blue jays are actually really mean. I never knew that until... I started putting bird feeders out and I started watching them. They will beat up other birds to get the peanuts. And it's like all it ate out of my mixture that I'd hang up was uh, the peanuts, but it was really mean. And then I also read online that they eat baby birds out of nests, like uh, cardinal bird babies and stuff. And I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> that's horrible. <laughs> and they're huge. They're way bigger than the other birds locally. Um, and they're just mean, so, but it's a pretty card <laughs> and I love cardinals. And then the back also has a cardinal. Oh my gosh. St. Joseph's Indian School. My mom donates to them. <laughs> my mom gets stuff. My mom donates to all kinds of um, donation places that you can get stuff in the mail from. <laughs> St. Jude's, the Veterans, uh, Father Flanagan's, this Indian School, St. Joseph's Indian School. I actually want to start donating to Fa Father Flanagan just because I love the stuff that they send to the mail. They send ornaments and really pretty Christmas cards and stuff, which I guess is where she got this. Anyways, back to what I was doing. I got sidetracked. <laughs> And uh, her name is Julie. I don't know if I said that. But uh, it's a really pretty card. And thank you for the message you wrote. And there's more. These two birds are on the inside also. <laughs> I got sidetracked. I'm sorry. Okay, the next card I got. I think your name is pronounced Azalea. But I'm not sure. And I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. But you're from Ohio. <laughs> well, you know where you're from. But And she she sent also a uh, one of those cards that comes decorated. It's got like a nativity scene on it. And the pretty stamp. Really nice penmanship too. I, I always admire people's penmanships, but here's the card she's saying. I got a little bent because the way I stuck it in my um, peel box. Really pretty nativity scene. <clears throat> and she uh, wrote me a nice note. You, you write really well. <laughs> like that's a really pretty uh, penmanship. But she also sent me an ornament that she said she bought at a craft fair. And uh, she loved it and she hoped I would and of course I do because I love anything homemade. So it's a really pretty, it's like a Christmas print. It's got uh, one of those pinking, picking shears, snares, shears, 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 pinking shears, I think is what they're called. And then on the back it's uh, like really fuzzy felt. This is actually a really cool idea. I never, this is a good way to use up scrap pieces of yarn, I mean fabric. <laughs> Because, I mean, it's just sewn around there, and then you cut it to make it a decorative edge, and you sew the little loop on there. That would be a super easy way. And I have a lot of leftover Christmas material from the bags I made this year that I save because I hoard everything. I might make some ornaments next year like this, and I might send them out. And you could probably do other shapes, too, not just a tree, but um, a star or anything, you know. So this is really pretty. And I'm going to hang it on my tree now that I, uh, actually I'm going to put a tag on it first that it's from you. And then I'm going to hang it on my tree. Because that's what I always do. The next one is from Tracy. I just watched your video. <laughs> I was watching videos before I started recording. That's so funny. But her crochet name is I Love Loopy. I Love Loopy Crochet and Treasures. 
think. <laughs> but you wrote me a really pretty note, and you also sent me an ornament, and I'm going to show that in just a second. I'm going to reread the note. Okay, what she said in it is that I could use this as a brooch on, you know, a shirt, obviously. Uh, she says she uses a safety pin to uh, pin it on there, but it's a wreath, and it feels like she used something hard in it, so it's probably like a milk ring or something. Does she say that? I don't know if she said that. <laughs> but it's really pretty. Thank you so much for that, and thank you for your note. Oh, and there's a card. I didn't even show the card. <laughs> it's a really pretty tree. It's glittery. I don't know how good you can see the glitter. Really pretty. I wish it would smell good here. It's not a little um, yesterday, but it's already gone. The last card that I got is from Tina in California. I saw someone else get this same card. Or maybe I saw this card. I can't remember. But it's got hats all over it. It's really cute. I think maybe I've seen this somewhere. But thank you for your note and for the card, obviously. So those are the cards that I got. And then I got a gift uh, from Amazon. And I got one of the cool gift bags. I never gotten one of the gift bags before. <laughs> so now I'm gonna hoard this and uh, keep it forever. <laughs> but the gift was from Debbie from Australia, which is really cool. And Devin thought that was really, really cool. <laughs> he was like, Australia? But she sent me this book. Can never say it right. Edwards, Edwards Menagerie, Menagerie, and uh, I've been wanting these books. There's a bunch of these books by this person, Kelly Lord, Carrie Lloyd, and uh, she's got a lot of nice patterns. The only thing I don't like about her is she always says not to sell the items you make from her patterns, but she can't really dictate that. <laughs> um, no one can tell you what you can or can't do with the item you make. But there's a lot of cute animals in here. All kinds of them. <laughs> okay, it's got a bunch of different. It's it shows you how to make from little ones to big amigurumis with different hook sizes and weights of yarn. So I'll probably make like the medium size ones because I like um, bigger ish amigurumis, not giant ones. Cause I don't like using big yarn. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this book. So thank you so much, Debbie, for sending this to me. Oh, the little goat is so cute. I'm gonna make a bunch of these. But um, and I'm not gonna feel guilty at all for selling the finished objects because like I said they can't no one can tell you <laughs> once you buy the pattern or in this case get gifted it um, you're allowed to make whatever you want from it and sell it or give it away the only thing you're not allowed to do is sell or give away the patterns or alter the patterns slightly and then claim them as your own but um, I never understood why they say that because I mean it's just you, you can't really control what people do with something you know that's like a, someone with a food re uh, blog saying here's the recipe you can cook this recipe but you can't eat it you know you can't do that <laughs> but um yeah so I do look forward to using this though so thank you so much and I'm already getting lost in it there's so many in here I don't even know how many patterns this is 40 over 40 all kinds of animals let me just up a little bit of all of some of them I can't wait to do this all right I'm gonna I've got to uh, I need to work on some more of these bags I'm never gonna get to sew one if I don't hurry and cut them all out but uh, most of them are sets they have notion pouches I think there's 32 that will have notion pouches and then there's let me look at my notebook my new little Christmas one that I bought the other day no 34 with um, notion pouches and six bags just by themselves because I didn't have enough material to uh, make it notion pouches but uh, I've got this much left to uh, cut liners for and then I can start sewing <laughs> and I'm not gonna rush at all and I, I don't think I'm gonna do them all at once what I think I'll do is I'll get like five or six bags and make them completely put them in the shop and then start working on more bags um, that's my idea at least so that I'm not busy sewing non-stop but uh, yeah I don't know. We shall see. <laughs> this um, Saturday is the 14th, so I can start opening up my little presents. I can't wait to do that. And I'll give Jesse his also this Saturday. We got a lot of stuff planned this Saturday. I'm hoping it doesn't rain too bad because Devin's work party is Saturday. I can open that up on Saturday. Well, I'm one of them. Um, our Christmas parade is Saturday. <laughs> And uh, the, the city museum in the city next to us is doing that Christmas tree exhibit um, that we went to the last two years. So uh, we'll probably end up going to that <laughs> if Devin's off work. He's, so far he's supposed to be off work all weekend, so we'll be able to do all that. But if he's not off work, um, 
I'll be doing some of it alone with just me and Jesse because he'll have to go to work after his work party. So I'm hoping that he's off work. But yeah, I'm gonna hop off here and go do some house stuff where I get ready to clean and all, I mean cook and all that and I'll catch up with you guys later. It's almost 8.30 and I just got some laundry going because I was cleaning the kitchen and the living room and Jesse's bedroom and found a bunch of stuff that needs to be washed <laughs> and took his sheets off his bed and stuff to wash it all. And I swept everything, picked up stuff, gathered all the toys up and dumped them in Jesse's room. <laughs> he's sitting on the couch playing with some color pencils. He's supposed to be coloring but he's playing with the pencils. But, uh, whew, tomorrow's Thursday so I gotta go, uh, bill paying and all that kind of stuff. I was going to go get some stuff for donation tomorrow, but um, I'm getting fruit for uh, baskets for the elderly, and they're building them on Sunday, so the lady asked me to wait till Saturday to buy the fruit so that it's, you know, more fresh um, from the store. Whew. So we're going to go sometime Saturday to get um, some oranges, uh, apples, bananas, and some nuts, like walnuts. We're going to get probably two of the big bags of oranges, two two or three bags of apples, depending on how big they are. Four maybe bunches of um, bananas and a couple bags of walnuts because they're kind of expensive. But we're donating them to, there's a local place near us, we call it the Help Center. And uh, I think they're the ones hosting it. It may not be them, but I think it's them. And they're building baskets, gift baskets for elderly people in the community who don't have anybody else to you know give them stuff and there it's gonna be fruits and nuts and then other people's donated socks and uh, hats and gloves and scarves and personal hygiene products and I asked I emailed her or messaged her earlier and asked her what they needed still and it was just fruit she said no one's donated fruit yet but it's because you know the time so I told her that we would do that Saturday we'll go by probably after Devin's work party we'll run by Walmart or somewhere and buy it all and then uh, drop it off for them so they can get the baskets made up and delivered to whoever's getting them <laughs> we like doing um charities like that local stuff we usually do like angel trees and we usually do it for the elderly people in the nursing homes that don't have anyone else to buy them stuff because the kid angel trees always get picked you know but the ones at the nursing homes sometimes get forgotten so we always try to do that and this year they haven't really put out any trees i haven't seen any usually walmart has them but they haven't i haven't seen any yet so uh I found this one in one of our local Facebook groups, so I uh, wanted to donate to that, so we're going to do that tomorrow. I'm tired. <laughs> Been cleaning. I cooked that chicken for dinner. It was really good. Uh, I didn't have anything to eat with it, though, <laughs> like any rice or anything, so we, I just ate the chicken, and uh, I, there's some for Devin left. Jesse ate nuggets. 
I really like that, but I'm going to save that recipe, and um, if I can think about it, I'll link it in the description if you guys are interested in checking it out. It is spicy, though. It's a little bit more spicy than I thought it was going to be because it's just jalapenos, but uh, I guess it was spicier than I thought. <laughs> Super simple recipe. But, yeah, so I got everything clean. I think I'm going to sit down and maybe find something to work on crochet-wise or possibly start frogging some of those items that are in there to be frogged because I need to clean my craft room up really good. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and I'll get this edited in a little bit and up and I'll see you guys in another clip maybe tomorrow <laughs> so far I've been good putting out videos every day and some days I even put up more than one yesterday I put out three so woohoo <laughs> but um I haven't been crocheting much so I don't have anything to do for a no catch your name episode so I need to try to get some stuff done so I can share it with you guys but <sighs> I'm so busy I don't know <laughs> we'll see <laughs>